Welcome back to Red Glasses Talks. The topic today is thrive. So what does it mean to thrive? Well, to grow vigorously, to flourish. So let me give you a few ifs. If you want to thrive in your life, if you want to get in shape in your life and faith in your relationship with Jesus Christ, if you want the Lord to work through you to impact the world around you, there are at least four action steps you need to take in order to be able to see that as a reality in your own life. Number one step, and we're going to talk about this for two weeks. Number one step, you got to become a person in the Word or the Bible. It tells us in 2 Peter 3.18, oh, what a great verse, but grow in the grace and knowledge, knowledge that we're talking about now, the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And you can translate that, but grow and keep on growing. But grow and keep on growing. It's a key, key concept. And so someone said, well, so what difference does it make about my relationship to the Bible, the Word of God? Well, let me give me some thoughts on that. Because the years are passing by does not mean you're making spiritual progress. You may be growing old in the Lord, but not growing up in the Lord. This book, the Bible, will keep you from sin, or sin <laughs> will keep you from this book. Dusty Bibles always lead to dirty lives. Is the Word shaping your life, or is the world squeezing you into its own mold? So many Christians are under the Word of God. In other words, they sit in church, in a pew, and somebody up here is pontificating and preaching. So many Christians are under the Word of God, but very few are actually in the Word of God. So, what is preparation then for being in the Word and becoming a person of the Word of God? Well, number one, and this is really our focus for today, you've got to know the author of the Word. You have to have a relationship with the Word to the person of the Lord Jesus Christ. So, someone has said it this way, the reason the Bible doesn't come alive for most people is because they don't know the author. So, is Jesus in your life? The author is the author in you. You can't take this book without a relationship with Jesus Christ and understand the, what it's really trying to communicate to you, the heart of it. You can understand the words intellectually. You can intellectualize it, but you won't understand God's heart and what he's trying to say about himself and what he's trying to teach you or teach me. The author of the Bible is he in your life? If not, why don't you ask him in right now? Just say, Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for me. Come into my life now. Clean me up. And from this point on, help me to become the person you've always wanted me to be. Now, if you prayed that little prayer, the Bible says he came in by faith, your life. You said, well, I didn't feel anything. You don't need to feel anything. It's a fact. Listen, the author of the Bible is not only found in the Bible, but if you are a Christian, if Jesus lives in you, then Jesus Christ, the author, is in you. And when he is in you, he will begin to help you to unlock and understand his word and his heart for your life. You think about that.